Hello, I am J Dog John Carshaboom. Hi, Mr. Dave. By the way, folks, Mr. Dave is traveling cross country to Florida of all places. So we're going to have Mr. Dave out in Florida still doing the Garden Corner mission. That's what we're doing, right, Mr. Dave? Yep, I hope so. Hey, let's say hello, and um, it's going to be exciting too because we're going to. I'm, I want to see the. Um, we're going to connect in a, kind of hopefully in a unique way um, across country. So it's the, it's the times nowadays. Um, hey, so let's say hello, shall we, to some new fans, of course. Say hello to Sally Tucker. Hi, Sally. And to Peggy Sue Straub and Joyce Hunter. Joyce, by the way, good luck on your surgery. Hope everything goes well. And to Grant Swanson. Grant, I love what you say. Libraries. The only loan you can count on. Good work, Grant. Keep up your good work. So, and Julie Eric. So, hi guys. Hope you, hope you enjoy the show. Hope it brings something good and useful to your entire life. Um, hey, I want to update you. Earlier in the season, we talked about budworms, right? And this is for a hanging basket or a hanging window box when you've got lots of color. And what? What we're looking at is is the first unique signs of a budworm attack, and it can sneak up on you. And we've got this great window box that you know that that has plenty of bloom. And we can sit in here and say, "Gosh, you know, hey, things are looking pretty good." But we're going to look closer, and I'm going to show you how to find a budworm, how to spot that budworm damage. Now. Um, so what we first look for are types of blooms that might be a little bit damaged. So we're going to look at blooms. And we're going to look for blooms that might have been eaten. Now you see these guys right here, nice full bloom, right? So nice and round, not, looks like nothing's touching it. So I'm looking around and I'm looking right now out on the petunia blooms. You can do this on the on the geranium blooms as well. So I'm looking at any of the blooms to see if there's any damage. Right now it looks pretty good. But lo and behold, I find one that looks much more damaged. You see, it looks like someone chewed on this outside. And here are the holes that look like someone shot a BB gun through that. Can you get that okay? You see that? So look for signs of that. Even on a single bloom will tell you bud worm is out. Let me see if I can't show you another example. Here is, sometimes you can see uh, what happens is the bud worm, it's a little caterpillar by the way, it's a little green caterpillar. Oftentimes when they eat the bloom, they actually get camouflaged and so the green caterpillar turns into a purple caterpillar. So you see those holes that each right into it and then when the bloom opens up, that's when we get that, that looks like someone shot a BB gun through it. So when you see that sign, it's urgent. And usually we'll, we'll see it right now because it's starting to heat up and we're going to get some consistent heat. Now what, now why am I so worried about this? Why are we on alert? It's because uh, what happens is these budworms really go to town and they'll take something full bloom like this and make it full green in a matter of days. I mean, literally a matter of days. They, got, they have a, uh, um, a, a, a voracious appetite. So let me show you exactly the actual budworm. They're really difficult to find and you'll find them on the stem. So you see that guy right there? That is a budworm. They're in different sizes, by the way. Sometimes you'll find them a lot bigger, maybe as big and round as, I want to say a pencil, and then sometimes as small as a pencil lead. But that is the guy right there. He's looking for a bloom to sneak up on and go to town. So that is how a budworm looks like. Now, what to do? See that guy? Gosh, he is just looking. He's hungry. Uh, what to do about that? That is that is the fun part of it, you want to say, because it's very, very easy. We use in the cities Captain Jacks. Captain Jacks, uh, now this is uses that spinosad A and D. Very, very um, all organic. Nothing uh, nothing harmful in this. As a matter of fact, the, this spray doesn't even come with a warning label, and the warning label is the lowest, I want to say the lowest level of caution 
there is is actually caution as well. But but warning is the lowest level. This doesn't even come with the warning level. Let me show you. I want to go over the details exactly how to spray so you get this right. Um, now it comes in lots of different types. This is a ready to use, so you uh, you don't have to do it. You just point and spray. It comes in um, in different sizes of of concentrate, and that you mix with some water, and it's two tablespoons per, or it's a tablespoon per quart, I believe. Yeah, it's four tablespoons per gallon. So different types, and then also has a hose in sprayer, so you can just connect it to your hose. So let me show you about how 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 dense to to, to spray this. So what you want to do is literally. Now let me see. I got this on a straight. I want to do a a spray now. I want to spray the blooms and not to worry about this won't get discolored. So even if you spray this on a hot day, it just it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll come right out. But what I want to do is I want to spray the blooms. I want to spray the greenery too. I want to spray all the, the leaves as well. And by the way, another thing to look for is the budworm waste products. The budworm poop and how that looks like is there just looks like, well, we want to say uh, bits of pepper, should I say, just little black spots left behind. Sometimes uh, when petunias are stressed out, they go to, they, they produce a seed head, and then those seed heads pop in the late summer, and it kind of looks like pepper as well. So it might be seeds, it might be budworm waste, but most likely it's budworm waste. So anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to spray so we're spraying the leaves and we're spraying the blooms. And you notice it's really just to the point of, point of runoff. It's like as if you just wanted to, as if your hair was standing up in the morning time and you just wanted to get it wet enough so that it doesn't stick up. Hope that helps. <laughs> anyway, that kind of spray on that, you want to do the entire basket. Uh, all the way around, upside down, uh, right side up. So, and then we're going to do that once per month. In the worst of it, we're going to do once every two weeks, but really once per month, and that should take care of it. Also, another side note is that sometimes the next morning you can um, look underneath your basket, you'll find the dead uh, budworms just laying there on the ground. Ants take them away pretty quick. Anyway, that's the show for today. Hope you found it helpful. Here is the quote, lest you didn't. In the game of life, it's good to have a few early losses, which relieves you of the pressure of trying to maintain an undefeated season. Thank you very much, Bill Bahan. That is the show, guys. Always, always live your passion. See me right out of the sunset on the color TV screen. I'm